Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to discuss the potential return of Lima and Russ. I know the Space Wolf Codex has come out. He's not in there. I know I'm extremely sad. I'm sure if you're a wolf boy too, you're extremely sad as well. But there is some breadcrumbs in that codex which does hint at the potential return of Lehman Russ but there's also a brand new short story that has come out um, over I think it's the last couple of days uh, from Chris Raitt which also adds fuel to the fire about Russ's eventual return well I personally think he's definitely coming back I do think that he is the next loyalist primate to return the, the bits that we've got to go over in the 8th edition codex and this actual short story here is definitely getting me pumped up but there's another thing to add as well is that there's also a potential return for the greatest custodian that ever lived constantine valdo because he vanished as well which was a massive surprise to me because i actually thought constantine valdo would have died at the siege of terror but according to the custodian 8th edition codex he didn't he survived and he just vanished after i think it was like a couple of hundred years or something after the actual siege so he didn't die which i was like okay so he didn't die so where the hell is constantine valdor now this short story from chris ray shines a little bit of light on that and it gives me hope that they're together and that they could return together as well how much how, how awesome would that be lehman russ and the greatest custodian ever return at the same time smashing face and killing all the heretics that would be absolutely amazing so let's jump in and let's take a look at all this glorious stuff now the short story is called two metaphysical blades you can see it in the background of this video now please 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 go and buy it go and read it you'll absolutely love it and then come back to this video because i am going to be speaking about it and it will spoil it for you and you really really should really really should buy it and read it for yourself it's only like eight pages or something like that it's not really a big read but it's definitely worth your money and it's definitely worth your time so go and do that now and then come back to the video and it'll make even greater sense when you watch what i'm about to say right so from here now um it is a spoiler zone danger zone spoiler zone so so you have been warned it's all fair game from here um so this story two metaphysical blades i'm briefly just going to do a little story summary so it says um this is the story of two blades spears crafted by the hand of the emperor in the days long before the birth of the imperium linked equal but opposite these blades are destined to be wielded by two of the greatest heroes of the age of darkness and those heroes are lehman russ and constantine valdo so if you're up to date with the horror series then you'll probably know about lehman russ's spear it's heavily uh, mentioned in the latest Horace, Horace Heresy novel, uh, Wolfsbane. Um, he uses it to injure Horace, and as he injures Horace with it, um, Horace has like a moment of truth. He can, you know, it's basically old Horace again, which is really, really awesome. Now, that spear is the twin of Constantine Valdor's spear. And how the spears work is that Valdor's spear, everyone who he strikes with it, he sees the truth behind that person and the the way lehman russ's spear works is that the person who he strikes sees the truth um so for example in wolfsbane there's a really cool scene where um, there's a uh, lehman russ goes into like a um a vision kind of state he like ventures into like more or less like the underworld like the death of Fenris. It's really, really cool. It's really awesome. Wolfbane's an amazing book. And he, well, to cut a long story short, he's, sh he's struck by the spear, his own spear. And he sees the truth. He sees what the Primarchs are really meant for and everything like that. And he has like a revel uh, revelation. Um, and it, it, you know, it really opens his eyes to what is going on. Now, Russ has always hated this spear. And in the story, he basically abandons it on the Shrine World. We actually later find out that he actually sent Bjorn to put it on this shrine world he, he tasked him with it like to just get rid of it because he, he always had a sense that there was something not quite right with the spear and that we eventually learn like in wolfsbane that there's 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 kind of um a bit of the emperor's essence in the spear because the emperor actually made these spears so he put a part of himself in the spear if that makes sense so it's always got like that like, psychic kind of 
effect round uh, Lehman Russ, and he wasn't really a massive uh, fan of it. Um, skipping along, uh, we we finally get to the bit where Lehman Russ is like in his halls. This is this is you know um, a couple of years after the Horus Heresy, after the siege and stuff. Him and him and Valdor have a, a little bit of a word at, at the Siege of Terror about him failing his Jarl and stuff like that. And actually, there's a really touching scene where Valdor actually comes over and puts his hand on Lehman Russ's shoulder and like you know holds him tight and Valdo's like am, am I really doing this it's, re- it's really really cool it's really awesome how like he described how he went over and like tried to uh comfort Liam and Russ it was re- re- it's awesome I, I absolutely love the way Chris Wright uh, does all this stuff um but skipping ahead of that and we're we're we're, we're at Fenris and this is the day that Liam and Russ uh, vanishes he's in his halls and it's described that there's something really else there in the halls as well it's not described what's there in the halls but he basically stands up and shouts no more and he gives a big speech to like the space wolves like you know um um i will return for the wolf time and stuff like that. the space wolves at this time don't know that this is the last time they're ever going to see lehman russ of course he takes some of his you know most trusted warriors with him and the reason why he leaves beyond behind it says in the book is that because he was the one that took this spear and put it on the shrine world. Now, I don't know what the connection between um, Beyond and Lehman Russ's spear is exactly, but I think it's going to play a big part in a future narrative story. One of the other cool things is that Valdor, who is on terror, knows or senses that Lehman Russ is leaving, and Constantine Valdor at the same time decides to leave the custodians and venture out as well now we don't know where he goes my theory is is that he actually hooks up with Lehman Russ and ventures wherever Lehman Russ is going or you know what his task is eventually set to do um but the way I think it's communicated to Constantine Valdo is through the spear I think I think the psychic essence of the spear lingers on Russ, even though he's abandoned it on this shrine world, and it sensed that Lehman Russ was leaving, and the spear then went ahead and like contacted its sibling spear, which Constantine Valdor has, and told him that Lehman Russ is leaving. And I think Le- uh, I think Constantine Valdor then said, "Right, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go and hook up with Lehman Russ, and we're going to adventure, and we're going to slay, and you know, hunt down chaos or whatever. And then I'll be coming back with him." So I definitely think that those two did hook up in the end. I think Constantine Valdor was the one that actually sought out Russ rather than Lehman Russ seeking out Constantine Valdo. And wherever they ventured to, they actually ventured to. And wherever they are, they're, they're there at the moment. They're still doing the doing. The most logical solution is that they went into the Eye of Terror to go and kill or find a certain something. I know the old law was like, the, was it the Tree of Life or something to repair and fix the Emperor? I don't think that is going to be in the new law. I think it, they'll probably make that into something else but coming from the eight finishing codex from the space wolves we had this little blurb put in as well now this gives me hope well the biggest hope about lehman russ's return i think they're leaving us breadcrumbs and this is probably the biggest piece of breadcrumb that we actually have from the space wolf codex so i'm just going to quickly read it on my screen here it says the great portent on fenris and in war zones across the sea of stars rune priests receive riddling visions encrypted visitations time time and again their casting bones point to the same future, the return of the 13th Great Company. The emergence of Magnus the Red and the awakening of Rebuta Gilliman are the last verses of the saga that will culminate in the wolf time, the prophesied return of Lehman Russ. After the undertaking of the perilous spirit walk, Najal Stormcorper, uh, Stormcaller petitions, Lord, I can't even really speak, petitions Logam Grimnar and Yorick the Slayer to awake beyond the fell handed so the ancient warrior may grant the high rune priest an audience. The request is granted through what they uh, speak is kept secret. So that is a really, really cool conversation. So all, all, all the, you know, we know how rune priests are, are different. I know there's a lot of debate about that and. It, their insight into the future and everything like that. Now they're seeing that the wolf time is coming. So Lehman Russ is prophesized to come back. Um, I, I think I think it's really interesting that they uh, he he wants to have a conversation with Beyond as well because I do think there's a connection between Beyond the Spear and Lehman Russ. I think there's a massive connection there, which I think they'll reveal. I think if Beyond goes and finds the Spear, maybe and brings it back to Fenris, may, maybe that is the beacon. Maybe that is that is like the signal 
for Russ to find his way on because I personally think Russ is trapped somewhere because he's been gone for so long. I think Magnus has something to do with it. There's been some rumors and Magnus has spoken about certain situations about, you know, where, well, it's hinted that where he knows Lehman Russ is. I think Lehman Russ may have gone there to hunt down Magnus to finish the task and Magnus did some warp stuff and trapped in some somewhere. And I think this spear is the key to unlock the cell which he is in. I'm not saying like a, a actual physical cell. I mean like a you know a psychic kind of cell. Because don't forget this spear has the psychic essence of the Emperor of Mankind weaved inside of it. So with that information that we have from the 8th edition codex and um, the little stuff that was put in this new short story, I'm more or less convinced that Lehman Russ will return at some point. I don't know when. I don't know if it's going to be this year. I don't think it's going to be this year. I think, it's if anything, it's going to be next year now. Um, I, I personally think that uh, the rumor I mentioned a couple of days ago from the, that source who stated Angron around Christmas, I think that's more of a stronger thing than you know following these breadcrumbs. Again, you can't really take uh, dates into account, but he's definitely confident that Angron's going to return with some Berserkers. Maybe they can factor in Angron returning and Lehman Russ. Uh, I know we've talked about um, uh, Warzone Armageddon and having Gaskull and Angron, scrap it out over Armageddon and maybe you can throw Lehman Russ in there and have a, a little bit of a purge party because if you have those three characters on one planet, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of purging, punching and bloodshed um, to share around in abundance. So that should be absolutely hilarious and fun all at the same time. Um, that, this is me done for another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, please, please, please go and buy this short story. I just checked it again now. It's £2.50. That's nothing. That's like half a Subway sandwich. Go and get it. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Chris Ray is probably one of the best Black Library authors out there. He's completely made me fall in love with the White Scars. That's how amazing this guy writes. It really, 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 really is a great read. So go and buy it. Go and check it out for yourself because you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you all very, very soon. See you now and bye-bye.